So fight. Just fight. What are you doing? I mean, you're clearly muttering to yourself while staring at your reflection. But how come? You just that bored, or...? Hey, you said, so fight, just fight, right? But when you say, so fight, just fight, who is it you're wanting to fight? I noticed that you said fight twice. Does that mean you'll fight two fights, or one fight with two rounds? Your silence isn't helping your case. I mean, why would you talk to yourself but then ignore another person? This doesn't seem normal at all to me. I've never chatted up my mirror before. But on a brighter note, I'm loving your new hairstyle. Yeah, the disheveled look makes a statement. It's like you can't be bothered to deal with it, because you're busy working so hard. What did hard. you come here to do? Uh, what do you mean? I came here to talk. The first time we met, we spent all night talking about Titans, remember? Though looking back, I guess you just listened. As I rambled about my research, I had faith in you. I trusted that you would never sacrifice Astoria. That said, I still don't get why you acted on your own. You pushed our island into a war we aren't ready to fight. Why, did you stop caring about Astoria? I've taken the Warhammer Titan's power. <laughs> its hardening ability allows me to build structures from thin air or carve them into earth and stone. Which means you can never build a prison deep or strong enough to hold me in against my will. I can leave this cell anytime I want. And since I have the Founding Titan, you can't kill me. You might threaten to kill Zeke, but that's not a real option either. So tell me, Hanji, is there anything you actually can do? <laughs> if you know something I don't, then let's hear it! If you've got something up your sleeve, then tell me what it is! Uh, uh, hands off, you pervert! Ever the rebellious teen, huh? Grow up, idiot! Irvin, this is the one time you bet on the wrong horse. Why did you ever think that I could be commander? 